Shatawali don't set fire for the music industry in Ghana. That is something I got to understand about Shatawali at a recent uh, podcast, uh, you know, conversation called Rant and Bant. That is really massive. That is really, really, really going to trigger a lot of persons in the industry. And this is not the first time of Shatawali coming out to say a lot of things about Ghana music industry. He made uh, certain allegations about most top a Ghanaian artist uh, really being paid like $5,000 to perform in foreign countries. <laughs> you know, before we dive into the story, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. At a recent conversation, Thames came out to say she was not really understood in Nigeria her sounds you know were not understood in Nigeria or understand by Nigerians at the time you know this is really disturbing and interesting at the same time you know right now Thames is about the biggest female artist from Nigeria based on some recent statistics that is playing out and she has actually done features with a lot of her you know great A artists from US and other parts of the world writing songs for the likes of her, Rihanna you know Beyonce collaborated and a lot of others you know this is to show you that you may not really appreciate something that is coming in from your own that is a prophet is not honored in his land that is something i got to understand about the story of her terms right now and she said it at a recent conversation and a lot of people are getting to understand that particular uh, producer that they understand terms and they sign terms <laughs> you know what they're going to think right now that is the question a lot of people are really asking but you need to understand that terms has a different vibes to this afrobeat uh, thing and a lot of people are saying that terms is the queen of afrobeat based on the international audience she has really really packed for herself that is something i got to understand do you think uh, terms deserves all the accolades she is getting right now i want you to put your own comment in the comment section so that you can have a glimpse at this let's catch a glimpse of you know the particular conversation terms had recently and that is really generating a lot of uh, interesting traffics in terms of comments so they didn't I, I don't think anyone said that i wasn't but it was more about we don't really know what to do with this like it's not us it's not nigerian it's, you're sounding a bit foreign you're sounding a bit like not like core nigerian sound um it's like, like it mix, right it's like a it's like a hybrid right it's like you sound like a hybrid how is this going to sell how are we going to market you to the nigerian people because the, most of the nigerian labels are thinking of nigeria Right, they're not right, thinking right, right. about the world or america now what is your own take about this what do you feel about Tem's story and this is really really interesting to a lot of people and they are getting to understand it from a dynamic point of view that is something i can really share with you guys on this and this is really really interesting because you know uh don't allow anybody to bully you to not believe in your dreams and if terms had really believed what a lot of persons were saying about her you know she for don't give up that is something i got to understand from this particular story talking about the ghana music industry that is actually trending now a lot of people are really getting interested in this you know Sharawale at a recent podcast uh, you know interview said a lot of things about Ghana music industry a lot of my Ghanaian fans you know you guys you need not be angry about that we are not in competition with you guys but we want you guys to put your music industry and other sectors in order because we want you guys to be there uh, as uh, West Africans to an extent but you guys you know keep on making rivalry and the rest Sharawale has come out to say you know what most a-list Ghanaian artists uh you know what they do they will go abroad to perform our shows and they are paid seven five thousand dollars and that is quite uh, a peanut to an extent and when this guy comes back home they are really really you know kind of uh you know picking up their chest and saying that they've performed for white people and the rest but how much were you paid and how were you really 
able to connect with your audience because this globalization of music you need to put adequate infrastructure together in your home you know they started out one policy uh play ghana in ghana and that is going to lock them up uh within the ghana music space and then nobody is going to hear about them much globally that is something they need to understand when they engage in international collaborations more especially with other african uh, country artists that is going to help them according to shadawali he said yes you know what um stone boy is really allowing the fame to get to his herd that is something that is something quite disturbing and he said he has a swollen head because of his fame and trusting the likes of uh, samini and the rest that is not going to help him and went after a person of sakodi that he dresses like a lawyer that what he sees is a lawyer not uh, a music artist and the rest what do you have to say about this guy you know i want you to put your own comment in the comment section because a lot of people are really responding to this let's catch a glimpse Stoneboy is just getting swollen headed with fame because i have a problem with samini your father they are liars so you see what i'm saying like this you won't come and talk to you but so my business so my go business and talk to you like this so i think apparently you know the cohesion of the, of the, <laughs> that the new generation has been brainwashed mm. that's why today kid who went perform in america and who say he's from he has no flop it's just put him on a stand that he doesn't belong. Fo yes, he follows my he followed man's mind mm. to feel that he's big. So you can prove it. When he was one day was like, <laughs> so you have to pay. I saw it in the crowd. So he said, when he dresses like a lawyer. <laughs> How does he dress like a lawyer? Me when I look at him, my eye, my eye, my people, <laughs> people have killed the guy. Do you know why? <laughs> he put that makes Sakura feel like he's cheesy, baby. Black cherry. I don't care about your cameras. But I can say, oh, my when I was banned, yeah. what Stone Boy is performing at festivals and stuff like that? Baby, you see those festivals? It's five thousand, seven thousand dollars. Me, I know. I won't go there. You know what I mean? You said what? Five thousand, seven thousand dollars. What do you mean? That they travel from here to America and perform for those festivals. They pay you five thousand, seven thousand dollars. Mm. Then you want to impress Ghanaians? Like you want to perform for a white crowd? Bro, mm. bro, it's Burner Boy and David and Whiskey Style. Now Rema is even added to the list. Yeah. So go. And Sit down and learn your homework and come back again. But are you also playing for for for, for, for big crowds? You're not playing. You're also not playing baby, for those kind baby, of big baby, shows. Baby, baby, baby. Oh yeah, chunky is what? I'm listening to you on the cell phone. Okay. The reason why I don't travel is because I'm an independent artist. Okay. I don't want to say I'm doing everything myself. Mm -hmm. I'm humbly enjoying my fans across Africa. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I have not blown in America. I did a song with Beyonce. This is not in fact. It's your father. This thing is, I like that. <laughs> but I won't force myself oh my to move around Beyonce for wannabe life. Right. Please. Right. I get what I'm saying. Yeah. Your artists are following artists just to impress people that, yes, you know, I know oh. this guy. I know this guy. And plenty of artists in the world, musicians, you know us, bro, celebrities, like, sometimes you don't feel comfortable around anybody. Yeah. So you can befriend this artist, you can befriend this artist. You think the artists are saying you can see you can feature sixteen thousand four hundred and thirty-five artists in the world. <laughs> Still, if you're not popular, you're not popular. You're not popular yeah. Yeah. But Stone Boy is also is, is also doing is elevating. He's doing international Stone shows. Stone Boy is a really artist. Yes, but he's also but I'm saying he's elevating. Like he's he's also going higher. Like he's doing international shows. He's playing at international shows. Yeah, like, in his he's mind. Also, yes, in his mind. What do you mean in his mind? He's but he's it. actually doing it. Oh. Hey. <laughs> So, let's see A to the A. Okay. What Whiskey and David and Bella Boy are doing? Are you people not seeing it? Yes. yes. Has yes. any of our artists done that before? No. Guess close. Don't tell me that he's performed. Baby, you see those festivals in Puerto It's five thousand, seven thousand dollars Me, I know. What is your own take about all of this? Don't forget to put your own comment in the comment section because a lot of people are now responding to this. Do you think Sharawale is really spinning fast? He also mentioned the lies of, uh, you know, Burner Boy, uh, Davido, Whiskey, and say this is the time. Even the lies of Rema is joining them. We have a lot of Nigerian artists really, really pulling uh, massive crowds out there 
you know shutting down arenas we have temps we have a lot we have irasta we got uh you know omali and a lot of others that is to show you that nigerians are really leaders of uh, african sounds that is something i got to understand about all of this but before i jump right off i want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far if you are new here you can click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos